What's up, beautiful people? This is Karan from iGetSwell, and today's video we're gonna be unboxing the Star Wars Special Edition LG C2 OLED, and I'm really excited about it. And without any further delay, let's just do the unboxing, but in a different way. So you can see that this is the special edition LG OLED EVO, the Star Wars edition. And uh, just wanted to dress up as Darth Vader because that's the whole theme about it. And wanted to welcome you to the dark side because whenever it comes to the OLED, you get the purest blacks and the deepest contrast, actually the infinite contrast. So now without any further delay, let's just see what's inside this box because this outside box is actually for the protective purpose, it is actually to protect the graphics that it has on the actual TV box that is inside. So let me do that and make sure you do it with somebody at home because it actually requires a uh, true person to do it. But I think I have it done enough unboxing for the 65 inch and I'm the dark waiter, so I don't need anybody's help, I guess. So let's see if I can do it. All right, as you can see that myself there, no, actually the dark Vader picture there, and we have the Star Wars branding here. All right, so I wanted to do this video wearing the Darth Vader costume, but it's not gonna be comfortable. So as I have showed you guys that it's front like this, and you have seen already how it looks, but let's get into it, what's inside. First, I'm gonna open from the top because uh, that's where the remote control and you know the couple of other things are. And also, there's a surprise because you're gonna get some collectible stuff from Star Wars, so that's also at the top. So the first thing first I'm gonna open is the top. Okay. All right. So guess what it is? It is something about May, the month of May. Yes, it's it's a huge. Um, graphics and it's just packed like this with the Star Wars uh, seal on it as you can see right here and uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks there are some things about stand all of this stuff I'm gonna show you but I'm taking it out it is always at the top so it's better to take it out from the top side first and there is LG warranty card as well which you really need it. I don't know if it comes with five years warranty. Actually, it comes with just one year warranty. Only the gallery design model is the one which comes with five years warranty. All right, guys, so I hope you are excited. So let's go. All right, so what I usually do with it, because I'm gonna be assembling it to put it on the TV stand, I usually take this styrofoam out and put it in the box and lay the TV flat on the box so that I have that cushion and support and I can assemble my TV. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Take out all of this carefully. All right guys, so before we assemble the TV, I want to show you guys what comes in the box. So we have this new redesigned compact profile base for the TV and it comes with the uh, two type of screws one is the m5 and one is the m6 m5 is the one that we're going to use together to put the stand together and the m6 is the one that goes at the back of the tv and you can see this is the m6 with the blue color paint on it and the cable management cover all right this is the big deal we have the brand new remote control that is exclusive to lg oled c2 star wars edition only and it is aluminum brushed looks metallic amazing premium feel and i'll talk about the comparison in the video where i'm going to be comparing it with the last year model and how was the remote control before and then we have some warranty information and lg oled 2022 nuevo sticker all right guys so we have one more thing exclusive for you and this is really going to be closer to your heart if you're the star wars fan and you have paid one thousand dollars extra on top of the msrp to get this and lg wants to and not only lg lucas films as well wants to recognize your efforts and give you a certificate of authenticity that i'm going to show you in this video but let me talk about this that they only made 501 total units 
that has to do with the 501st Legion, the uh, Cologne Battalion, which later was redesignated as the uh, 501st Imperial Legion and um, as the 501st Stormtrooper Legion, if you remember. So that's why they made 501 total units. And if you are one of those who was able to get one of these, may the force be with you. And let me show you my certificate of authenticity and let's see what is my number out of those 501 lucky people who bought this. I'm gonna have to see whether it's worth it, that $1,000 extra, but it's not over yet. We have more to show you. And as you can see, this is my certificate of authenticity and my camera is trying to adjust focus. I hope this Lumix S5 can do the focus. All right, we are, we are getting there. All right, come on come on here we go all right so that was a little suspense and my number is 481 out of those 501 total people who bought this tv and it's already sold out on the website and i feel really bad that there are some people out there who actually bought this tv to just flip it on the ebay so um I kind of hate it, you know, before it was with the graphic cards and all that stuff. So there's the actual fan who wants to get it now has to pay already premium price, $3,000, but might have to end up paying $5,000. You can go on eBay and see how crazy it is. Somebody is trying to make $2,000 out of this TV, which is ridiculous. But I mean, they are sold out already. All right, guys, so now let's assemble the stand. So you have to put this plastic piece inside and just snap it in. You may have to put a little force and you'll be able to lift it up like this easily. So now there are four screws that I showed you in the beginning um, of the, you know, showing what was inside the box. So two screws will go there and two screws will go at the bottom. So those are called M5. They are solid black color one, not the one with the blue paint on it. That one is gonna used for the TV on the back side of the TV. So now, as I told you guys that I'm gonna lay it flat on the box to keep it as a support. And now let's just assemble the stand to it. So now you have assembled your base and just slide it into the back of the TV and you have to put the four screws and those are the screws are marked as the blue color. My apologies, I said M6. M6 is the actually the one that you're gonna use for the visa mount if you're wall mounting your TV. But just remember it's the blue color one uh, in the box. There are four screws that you're gonna use it to mount your base with the TV. And then it has this cover that actually for the cable management. So you're gonna place that there. It has two notches at the top. So make sure that goes there before you break this cover. It's really delicate. And this is how you're gonna cover your cables or hide your cables. Now I'm gonna show you what it has in the back because there's a lot going on. All right guys, so as you can see on the back side, on the top middle, we have the Imperial logo there. And uh, on the both sides, on the left and right side, we have the Imperial ranks. And I wanna use your knowledge and let me know what are these ranks actually. So let me know in the comment section and let's test your vocabulary for the Star Wars. Okay, and that's all we have. And you can see the Lucasfilm Limited because the copyrights and trademarks are uh, with the Lucasfilms and it's in the collaboration with LG. So they had to put that in the back of the TV. Now let's look at the ports of the TV and which is gonna be similar to how we have it in the regular LG OLED C2 models. All right guys, so all the ports on the TV are actually on the left side of the TV if you're facing it and you have the three USB ports, which used to be two and one configuration before. Now it's all together, which is a good thing. Then we have the four HDMI 2.1, 4K 120Hz, which is really essential for the gaming with the next gen gaming these days. And then we have the LAN port, which uh, I prefer to not to use because uh, then I have to run another cable. But if you are in the situation, you have poor Wi-Fi, you could actually use that. Then we have the optical cable connection for the audio. We have the remote service connection. We have the ATSC 3.0 for the, you know, that next gen cable service, whenever we're gonna have that available. And we have the IR blaster. If you're gonna be connecting the different kind of, I think a Harmony remote or other kind of remote controls. With a regular remote, you don't need the IR blaster. So these are the ports that we have on the side. Now let's look at the heat sink side. Oh, sorry, we do not have the heat sink in the LG OLED C2. That's what we have with the LG OLED G2. We have the heat uh, dissipation. So we have just the vents where the heat actually gets out. 
All right guys, so the TV is assembled. Now let's look at the remote control that we have for the LG OLED C2 Star Wars Special Edition. And you can see that the remote control looks really premium quality. It has that brushed aluminum finished and it looks really exotic. But when you're looking at the remote control, you have to look at the practicality of it. So the button colors that you notice on the LG OLED G1 or C2 this year, the regular edition, has actually the white color numbered on it. And if you look at the C2 Star Wars Edition, it is actually black and if you are in the dark room where mostly you will be if you have the OLED TVs and you want to take advantage of it look wise it is amazing but practicality I wish LG could put some kind of like you know light illumination behind it also one more thing that you actually need a pin to open the tray where you're gonna put the batteries in the LG OLED G1 as I showed you guys you slide the cover you get the batteries and put it in and it's easy but with this remote control you literally have to have a pin handy which you have to put pressure and then it slides out this battery bay for you and it's a little painful but remote control looks amazing i'm sure you're not gonna have to change batteries every at least six months or eight months because batteries usually last really long i have never changed my lg g1 oled battery it's been about a year almost actually over a year so remote control is amazing but i'll rate it eight out of ten because of the practicality all right guys finally the tv is set up and it's time to show you guys you will see a lot of reflections if you have the plastic sheet is still on so make sure to take all of that off and you can see it's doing a really good job with the reflections i have the sofa and cushions uh, i can barely see anything on the screen and it's really bright lit room okay so my expectations were when i turned on the tv for the first time uh, that I would see something, you know, Star Wars or the Darth Vader breathing because that's what they mentioned on the website, but I am not getting anything here. I think it has to do with the setup. So first we have to complete the setup. So that's my expectations are with the uh, TV and also I'm doing this voiceover so I can assure you guys that it was actually there because at first I thought hey uh, they said that it's gonna be something because once the TV is there on the stand you can't actually see what's behind all of that you know the Imperial ranks and the Imperial logo you cannot see any of that and uh, there has to be something that actually differentiates it from the regular C2 which is $2,000 plus tax and this is $3,000 plus tax the box you're gonna put in the garage somewhere you're not gonna use it so I mean, this is what it is, always ready. So if you click on always ready and if you have it enabled, it's also on the LG OLED C2, but it has some exclusive wallpapers. And I find it really something that it only works when you actually turn off your TV. So always ready means when you power off your TV, it's actually not completely powering off your TV. It's gonna run the wallpapers on the screen. And this LG OLED C2 Star Wars Special Edition actually got some exclusive wallpapers. So let's see, we have turned it on this feature. Also, you can turn it on the settings. I'm gonna turn off the TV and it didn't turn off the TV. It actually takes me to the movements and then you can select art piece. And if it is the art pieces, it's gonna be Star Wars exclusive one. So you can see that this is actually from the um, the actual script there are some dialogues and scene numbers so there's there's some exclusive art that is built into the TV and you're gonna have it for example this one it is uh, you know the dialogues are there it's the shot number 268 so you have all of this graphic which is built into the TV and you can't get it from outside so this is something that is exclusive to the LG OLED C2 Star Wars Edition, but I think when I'm not watching TV and I want to power it off, I don't want it to be running all the time on the screen. So I don't know, I don't see it as a big deal, but as a Star Wars fan, if you want to run this all day long when your TV is off, you're gone to the office, I don't find it a really viable option. When you're powering off TV, you're actually turning it off so that it's not utilizing any of the um you know the electricity or the life of the panel so it is something it looks cool but i don't think so i'm gonna be using this always ready feature so i'm gonna turn it off so that my tv actually turns off by itself then there are a couple of other colorful graphics also that you will find some exclusive wallpapers like this on the screen and um, nothing more than that on the c2 you have the other sceneries and other pictures on this one you have some star war exclusive pictures 
All right, but if you're on this screen and you power off one more time, the TV is actually gonna power off, but you're gonna have this white light and it will say the may the force be with you. So that's how it turns off. It says may the force be with you, it turns off and it has the white light showing. That means that you have the always ready function on, but you have to hit the power button two times in order to turn off the TV. Then if you power on, you have the Star Wars, the breathing sound uh, kind of uh, animation going on. So that's what you get from the LG OLED C2 Star Wars Special Edition when you're powering on your TV. All right guys, so one last thing that I wanna talk about is the LG OLED C2 Star Wars exclusive. If you go to the settings in the general, you're gonna to go to the system and then head to the additional settings and that's where you're gonna find the pointer setting. So in the pointer options, you're gonna have the pointer size. You have the small, which is the regular cursor, and then you have the medium size and the large size. The medium size is green color lightsaber, and for the larger size, the large size, you have the red color lightsaber. So I'm gonna be using this one. But with this, I'm gonna end this video. May the force be with you guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in a lot more videos and comparisons coming soon. So make sure to hit the like, please guys. It's gonna help me a lot and I'll see you in another one. Until then, peace out.